Hi, I'm Karen Johnson, and this is my husband, Keith. We actually met each other at St. Anne Church when we both joined the choir in the summer of 1979. This year, we will be celebrating 37 years of marriage. I grew up attending St. Anne's. I was baptized as an infant. I went to public schools and attended CCD classes when it was convenient for my parents. When we went, we went camping a lot on the weekends, but they made sure that my siblings and I received all our sacraments. As a child, I did not know much about my faith, just that I was Catholic. I also grew up in the parish. My family were some of the founding parishioners of St. Anne. I attended all eight years at St. Anne's Catholic School. I remember telling my mom that I didn't want to go to Sunday Mass since I had to go to school Mass every day. As a child, I thought it was too much and church was kind of boring. <laughs> my mom didn't, didn't give me that choice. In the fifth grade, I started serving as an altar server. I served until I started high school. After I graduated, I joined the Contemporary Choir as a way to continue serving the church, and I enjoyed singing. As I attended South High School, I decided to get involved with the Contemporary Choir here at St. Anne's. I enjoyed singing, and I wanted a reason to go to church every Sunday. As a young adult, my knowledge of my faith was not as strong as it should have been. If someone asked me a question about my Catholic faith, I had a hard time finding the right answers. At that time, I did not consider participating in a Bible study. My knowledge of my faith was very limited, but we made sure our four kids received a Catholic education here at St. Anne's. Keith and I were very busy with the many ministries we served. We were involved with the school, Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, sports, and helping out with various projects. We are still involved with music, and Keith is involved with the Knights of Columbus. As our kids grew older, we knew we needed to learn more about our faith. We tried a few classes with our friends from the church, but our busy lives made it difficult to continue. We also tried a big group Bible study that Father David offered a few years ago, but the format of the class made it difficult for us to learn. When Father David talked about the adult small groups, I thought, here we go again. I wasn't sure about it. Bible studies have always seemed difficult for us to understand, but some friends we have here encouraged us to try it. We found out that this format is beginning to work for us. The small group gives me a chance to ask questions and not feel ashamed. I love watching the videos of Father David and Father J.D. explaining the messages from the Bible. I am actually starting to understand more about the Bible and my faith. For me, it is a slow-going process which is making a difference in my prayer life and in my knowledge of my faith. Karen and I always made sure we prayed before our meals, but that was the extent of our prayer life together. We are now beginning to add more prayers, like the rosary. We realize that we don't have to do everything at once. We can begin slowly, one prayer at a time. I am learning that we all are seeking a closeness to Jesus, to God. With our small study groups, we are forming closer bonds with our friends. As a choir director, I have always encouraged prayers for one another. Praying with each other and for each other is something I am learning from the small study groups. I am actually starting to look forward to the next season of study groups. We appreciate Father David and Father J.D. for investing their time to encourage all of us to deepen our faith. We will continue to join the adult small groups because it works for us. We look forward to meeting and getting to know anyone else who wishes to join our small study groups. Thank you.